Hello everyone, this is Dr. Nikita here and here we have mnemonic of the day and the question is related to the foramen of the skull, a very very important must know topic. So middle meningeal artery passes through which of the following labeled foramen? Is it A, is it B, is it C or is it D? So we have the four important foramen here in the greater wing of the sphenoid. Now we have a mnemonic to remember this. This is like a two-step question. First, we need to uh, remember that middle meningeal artery passes through which foramen. And then in the diagram, we need to identify which is that foramen. So the trick to remember this is have a look at this image. So in the body, in the middle of the body is where we have the spine. So spine is in the middle of the body, right? So spine is in middle. So the trick to remember here is that middle meningeal artery passes through foramen spinosum. Okay, so the answer is foramen spinosum. Now, which one is the foramen spinosum? The mnemonic, remember that is, remember like frostbite that we have. So, F-R-O-S. Aage se piche, anterior to posterior, the foramena in the greater wing. You have F, that is the first one in the front, fissure, superior orbital fissure. R, foramen rotundum. O, foramen oval, the oval shape, bigger foramen. And then you have S, which is foramen spinosum. So D is your foramen spinosum here. So that is going to be the answer here. Let us have a quick look at the labeled image here. So like we said, here anterior to posterior, it is F-R-O-S. That is your superior orbital fissure, rotundum, ovale, and spinosum. Ovale is the largest one. Medial to ovale, this foramen that you have, that is foramen lacerum. So remember the medial one here is the lacerum. The lateral one here is ovale. We get confused there as well. So remember that lacerum is basically medial and ovale is lateral. It ends in M and it's in, in L. So lacerum is medial and ovale is lateral. Both of them are the big foramina that you see. Lacerum medially, ovale laterally. Ovale ke piche is where we have spinosum, spine in the middle, so middle meningeal artery passes through foramen spinosum. So a question for you, do let me know in the comments. Middle meningeal artery rupture leads to what kind of hemorrhage and what is the appearance, what is the shape on the CT scan? Do let me know in the comments and please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel so that you know you get updates on all the new videos that i post be it mnemonic of the days be it motivation related or be it just out of the box video so let's stay connected here and let's reach the target of 100k subscribers very soon of course without your help it is not possible so even one subscribe means a lot to me thank you so much for watching this one i'll see you in my next one till then goodbye take care and keep studying keep revising and keep winning. Thank you so much.